this video we're going to talk about the excerpt function of WordPress. So if you look at Codex, we can see that this particular function, the excerpt, displays the post excerpt. Post excerpt means that it's going to display the uh, certain number of words from the post. It's going to trim, uh, you know, uh, certain things from the post like line breaks. Uh, you know, it's going to trim down the uh, short quotes and other tags, etc. So I'll get into detail of uh, what it does and everything, but uh, let's get this in use just to show you what it does. Okay, so I'm going to go into index.php of my theme, and this is where uh, I'm running the loop of WordPress to display the content and the title of the posts. Okay, and inside of this loop, I am using get template part function, which is going to include the uh, content.php. Uh, file okay and uh, content.php file is the one responsible for displaying the uh, title and the content uh, of the post and all sort of different things that we want to display okay I'm using get po post format over here just in case if the user has set any post format then it can include that content uh, dash that particular format dot php okay so just one moment so inside of this content.php, I'm not going to go over all of the details of it because this is pretty much displaying the title of the post and the date of the post. And the uh, instead of using the content, which I had used earlier, I'm going to use the excerpt. So the content displays the full post uh, content and the excerpt is going to display only 55 words from the content of the post. Okay, so if you refresh the page, you can see that instead of displaying the entire content of the post we only uh, we are getting only 55 words okay and um, let's get into the detail of this particular uh, function so this function displays the excerpt of the current post after applying several filters to it including auto p formatting which turns the double line breaks into html par paragraphs so in case if there are double line breaks while creating the post over here then it's going to turn it into the uh, uh, auto p formatting so it's going to turn into paragraphs okay uh, it uses the get excerpt function to first generate the trim down version of the full post content uh, should there not be an explicit explicit excerpt for the post so it uses the get excerpt function so if you check uh, if you find where this function is located, you can see it's inside of the post template.php inside of the WP includes. And this function is basically uh, returning what is returned by apply filter function uh, with the excerpt hook and you're using the get the excerpt function. Now, what does this get the excerpt function do? Uh, if you check, <coughs> get ex the excerpt function retrieves the post uh, excerpt. Okay, so it's going to return the excerpt content. Uh, and we're just echoing it out over there if you notice just echoing out whatever is returned by the get uh, get the excerpt function and the WordPress is allowing you to uh, add any custom function to modify what is returned out of the get the excerpt function so if you check what is happening inside of get the get the excerpt function you can see over here that uh, you know you have got different parameters available over here you have the post uh, that is uses and uh, it is saying that post is equal to get post so it's getting the content of the post okay and um, it's checking if the post password is required and all of that okay and then over here it's again using the post excerpt uh, uh, off the post okay so let's go ahead and check furthermore the trim down version contains a more tag at the end which by default is this icon a symbol which is help which is called help so if you notice if we just call the excerpt function is going to you know give us the option of read more however it doesn't do anything if we click on it uh, so this basically it's just uh, by default it's showing us this help symbol okay and a user supplied excerpt is not by default given such a symbol to add it you must modify the raw post post excerpt manually in your template before calling the excerpt so what this is saying is that 
if you want to modify this if you want to replace it with with the you know uh, read more button or probably you know change this uh, you can do that by uh, you know modifying post post excerpt so what this is talking about is if you go inside the excerpt and if you go inside get the excerpt you can see you need to modify this before you know you display that uh, using the hooks that WordPress is providing so we have get the excerpt hook and then we also have the um, the excerpt hook that we can use to modify uh, you know the read more uh, option over there okay uh, let's further go ahead <coughs> Right, add a filter uh, get the excerpt with the priority lower than 10 okay so using get the excerpt hook you can modify this help symbol and add a filter for WP trim excerpt comparing the first second parameter so we'll get into this in a moment okay uh, an auto generated excerpt will also have all short quotes and tags removed so what this is saying is that you know uh, when the excerpt is generated for the content of the post short code and tags will be automatically removed it is trimmed down to word boundary and default length is 55 words so as I explained in the beginning of the video the default length of the words uh, for the content that's being displayed over here uh, is 55 words and for languages in which words are described with single characters East Asian languages the word boundary is actually the character so uh, for those languages the word will be each character will be counted as word okay um, if the current post is an attachment uh, such as attachment.php image.php template loops then attachment caption is displayed caption do not include the uh, help symbol text okay um, comparison with more quick tag okay uh, so this is very interesting. Uh, Excerpt provides an alternative to use of the more quick tag. Okay. Uh, whereas this more tag requires the post author to manually create a split in the post contents, which is then used to generate a read more link on index pages. Uh, the Excerpt requires, but do not necessarily demand, uh, demand a post author to supply teaser for the full post content. Okay. Uh, so what this is saying is that if you're going to use the more tag, I'll show you in a moment how. Uh, more quick tag uh, it requires the template to use the content uh, while displaying the content of the post whereas the excerpt requires allows template writers to explicitly choose whether to display full post using this content or the excerpt so what this is saying is that if you go into any of the post let's say uh, this post okay and uh, instead of using the excerpt If you use the content, so I'm going to comment down the excerpt function from the content.php, which is responsible for displaying the content. I'm going to use the content function. <coughs> so the content function, as we all know, is going to display the entire post. <coughs> yep, content of the post. Uh, what we can do is that we can use the uh, you can use the more quick tag. So we can just go on to uh, any of the posts let's say this one okay and we need to ensure we click on text and not visual and let's say I want to break the post from this point uh, to create this more tag and update it and then it notice what happens over here for this post the best adventure we refresh the page you can see that now we have an option to continue reading okay so this post has has been you know uh, broken uh, from this point if you click on continue reading it takes you to the single page which displays the full post okay so you can do that uh, you can break the post at certain points uh, in case if it's too long using uh, this particular uh, more quick tag but for that you need to use the content function uh, it won't be possible using the excerpt okay so what this is saying is that using the content uh, you know allows the template writers to explicitly choose whether to display the full post or not okay the choice of whether to display a full post or an excerpt uh, can then based on factors such as template used type of the page category of the post etc so you can create different templates for different posts uh, you know de depending on what format you have chosen from here uh, going over here and you can choose different templates for displaying different posts basically 
okay and um, in other words a more quick tag the post author decides what happens whereas the template writer is in control with the excerpt so if a post author is writing a post uh, over here in the back end okay uh, then he has the option to use more to break it okay however if the uh, you know admin is using the excerpt while writing the theme or something then you can use the excerpt to control how much of the content is displayed over here okay that's what they're saying All right. <coughs> sorry okay perfect so now we're going to look at different examples let's go back to our excerpt example i'm going to comment out the content and put this back in the excerpt okay now there are different examples given over here <clears throat> all right so the different examples are shown over here so let's say uh, if you want to control how much of the content is displayed over here using the excerpt function so right now it's 55 words if you want to change the number of words that's being displayed over here and remember we, what we spoke about in the beginning that you can use the hooks that WordPress provides to change uh, the uh, number of words and what is outputted out of the uh, this particular function the excerpt okay so if you check we have the excerpt uh, hook that's been provided over here and uh, you know it allows us to hook on our own custom function to return what is being you know outputted by get the excerpt function inside of the excerpt function so this is what we're doing over here we are using excerpt length in fact not this hook we're going to use okay so wordpress does provide us with this hook and it will be somewhere i'll just need to check so if you go into formatting.php, which is inside of WP includes, you can see over here inside of the WP trim excerpt function, okay, which generates an excerpt from the content if needed. Uh, it WordPress provides us with the excerpt length uh, hook, and by default the value is 55, and and that's why the default value of the excerpt function is 55. So we can change this value by hooking on to this particular hook, okay, and that's what we are, that's what is saying over here that uh, the excerpt length uh, we are hooking on to our own function into it and then we're going to say that uh, the length parameter should be 20 so this is when we're returning 20 it's automatically going to modify the value of length and is going to give that back to the this particular hook and that's what will be returned over here instead of 55 okay so i'm going to include this bit of code into my functions.php i'm going to close this and um, in my functions.php, I'm going to use this particular bit of code which I've already written. The exact same code. And now what's going to happen is that instead of 55 characters, this is going to display only 20 characters. And you can see, not characters, sorry, words. Okay, so it's only 20 words now. Okay, cool. Now let's look at the next example. <coughs> So the next example talks about excerpt more. Okay, so let's say where is this hook? Okay, let's find it. Excerpt more. This is excerpt hook. Okay, we're gonna find it. Just a moment. So you're gonna go on to adambrown.info excerpt more hook. It's also inside of the formatting.php which is inside of WP includes so more here it is just below this okay so except more uh, is going to allow us to go ahead and you know uh, change this help icon uh, sorry the symbol as you can see that we discussed just a while back that uh, this is a help symbol okay and that's what is uh, you know shown over here by default the value of this is help symbol okay and we can modify this help symbol using the uh, excerpt more hook okay and that's what is going to be returned over here once we attach a custom function so let's go on to our codex and let's see what example the example looks like so again this is hooking on to the same hook that we just talked about 
set more and we are latching on to our custom function we are going to modify more value and we are just saying that you know increase that this dotted so earlier there are only I think three dots change it to four okay so I'm gonna copy paste this code into my functions.php and now if we refresh the page what the excerpt function is going to display is modified value of the helix symbol okay cool and notice that we have taken out that other function that we were using to change the number of words that were being displayed so it's back to 55 now okay now next example uh, this one talks about that you can also change the excerpt more uh, symbol uh, that was help symbol to read more okay using this set of codes so over here what's happening is we are attaching our custom function to the same hook which is except more to replace this help okay and we're saying that you know modify this more to my to this particular thing so we're using sprint that function this is an a tag inside of which hrf uh, will be replaced by this uh, one dollar s is going to be replaced by get permalink get the uh, get the id which means it's going to get me the permalink of that particular post uh, in that loop okay so here will be the permalink for that loop and then the name of the link will be replaced by read more okay which is this so two dollar s will be replaced by this so this is will be a translated read more okay using the text domain so I'm going to copy paste this entire code into my functions.php so let's get rid of this I don't need this and I'm going to uncomment the code that I've already copied okay it's the same function everything's the same I'm just changing the text domain to my own theme domain okay and now if you notice now if you refresh the page you will see that we have read more button if you click on it it's going to take you to the single page.php single.php page and give you the entire post okay and all of this is coming from the the excerpt function uh, if you want to modify the how much of the word is being displayed uh, you know using this function then just you just need to define uh, you know different uh, custom functions and um, attach to different hooks for that okay um, for example to modify the number of words you need to use the excerpt length hook and attach your custom function to it and this is basically the priority we're saying 999 so it happens much after uh, okay and then you can use excerpt more hook to attach your custom function to change the more uh, which is help symbol and then you can also use the excerpt more hook to change the help symbol to read more which will take the user to the single .php page for that particular post okay so I hope that helps I know this video has been too long but uh, it was important to cover up almost everything uh, for the excerpt and I'm sure by the end of this video you will now be able to uh, go ahead and use the excerpt uh, pretty easily and you'll be very confident with this if you still have any questions you can leave the comment and uh, please do subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video